I want to talk about lucid dreaming and spirituality. Now spirituality is one of those things that is very diverse, there's a lot of different meanings, so let's just first start by describing what is actually spirituality and how does lucid dreaming interrelate with spirituality. So don't close off this video, stick around, I'm going to explain the differences and also how lucid dreaming can be used for more than just flying around, more than just having sex and actually can be used for more of the higher purpose type things associated with spirituality. So, spirituality can be defined as a non-religious belief or idea that there is more to life than just this physical body, this 3D avatar and what we're presented with that we, that we would consider real. So spirituality is the idea of there being something more, something extra to that. Now on the surface, lucid dreaming is very much about instant gratification, about having fun, doing things like flying, having sex, whatever. The, the crazy fun experiences that you could expect from a video game, right? That's what lucid dreaming is for most people. But here's the thing, if you really take it to the next level, lucid dreaming has the ability to raise your consciousness, raise your awareness, and by the way, there's loads of different terms for this stuff. You could, for example, say it will raise your vibrations, raise your frequency, raise your energy. These are all sort of synonymous terms which mean roughly the same thing. They just mean it's gonna increase your self-awareness and consciousness and make you a more positive, uh, personal development focused person. And that's great, but here's where it gets really interesting. We know that lucid dreaming happens in the brain. It happens in the mind. And for that reason, it can't interact with other things. It can't interact with things like dimensions, different realities and things like that. And the association between lucid dreaming and your spirit or your soul is something that is just massively misunderstood. And to be honest, no one really knows how it works. So here's where it gets interesting. If we know that there is something that happens after death, and again, this is where it gets very debatable and a lot of people are gonna have very different opinions on this because none of us truly know for sure. But if lucid dreaming can connect us to our subconscious mind, then we can get in the middle of the dreaming process and we can start interpreting our subconscious beliefs and thoughts. Those in turn will allow us to do a number of different things. Firstly, by becoming more in touch with our subconscious mind, we're able to much more easily understand how we work as people, how our beliefs work, and how our different psychological functions actually happen. So lucid dreaming can be used to unlock that aspect of our psyche. In my opinion, and again, this is just my personal experience, I mean, you could completely ignore this, I don't really mind whether you listen to this or not. In my opinion, lucid dreaming can be used to access the subconscious mind, and then to go beyond that and actually help you to not access, but to think about different things like the soul, like life after death, like an intelligent design, uh, a creator, the concept of karma, incarnation, and all of those spiritual things which go way beyond just having a dream about climbing a skyscraper. Now let me just be very clear about one thing. I'm not saying that lucid dreaming gives you access to things like your soul, because obviously it doesn't. By lucid dreaming, I truly believe that you will want to do exploration into those other aspects of your psyche and of your being. I believe that by lucid dreaming and having these incredible experiences, and they, re they really are mind-blowing when you have these experiences, you will want to learn more. You won't just be satisfied with having a normal dream or having even a lucid dream. You'll want to learn more about why are we here? What is the purpose of life on this planet? And what is this body? How can we best use this? And you start thinking about all kinds of things, like you start thinking about your purpose, you start thinking about what are you doing in your life to fulfill your mission. And all of this is made possible by that seed of lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is like the gateway into all of that spiritual stuff that you might have never considered even learning about. And that's what really excites me. The idea that lucid dreaming can be used to act as a gateway into more spirituality and more purpose-based things, that's a really exciting idea for me. And I think there's a lot of things that you could take away from this. You know, you could say, for example, I just want a lucid dream to do fun things, and that's fine, okay? Lots of people are like that. But you could also approach this with an open mind and think, how can I use lucid dreaming to unlock different opportunities and different aspects of my being which otherwise would just be ignored. 
I mean, for most people, you, most people don't even remember their dreams or even care about their dreams. So the fact that you're actually interested in lucid dreaming means that you're one step above them in terms of your spiritual development. To take it even further, you can look at things like out-of-body experiences, near-death experiences. These things are very well documented. And although we can't physically prove that something happens after death, we can look at all of these experiences, these millions, probably tens of millions of experiences every year from people that have had near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, and they've been able to vividly describe what happened. And their descriptions go way beyond lucid dreams. There are people that report, now, and I'm not going to get into the astral projection debate because that is entirely another topic. I did actually make another video about that recently. But there is a lot of documentation and a lot of personal stories about out-of-body experiences and near-death experiences where people report vividly seeing something outside of this physical reality, something beyond this reality that we call home. And that is what fascinates me about lucid dreaming. It's very connected to all of that. I'm not saying that lucid dreaming can enable you to have an out-of-body experience, because it, it can't really, although they're very similar. What I am saying is that lucid dreaming can be used as a sort of a gateway to open you up to the possibilities of more and of furthering your spiritual development. Now I know this is kind of a random topic and there's going to be a lot of you who don't really understand or even want to learn about spirituality. I totally get that. But in my opinion, lucid dreaming can act as a gateway to spirituality in general. And let's not forget the ultimate goal here of lucid dreaming is, of course, you want to have fun, you want to experience these crazy fantasies. But beyond that, you want to raise your consciousness, you want to raise your awareness and your vibrations, your frequency, your life force, whatever you want to call that. You want to raise that. You don't just want to be stuck in these low vibration experience loops where you're just doing things like going to a job you hate, you're just gossiping, you're consuming mindless content. You don't want to be stuck there. You want to take, and if you need to use lucid dreaming to get there, that's fine, but you want to take yourself from that point to a point where you're actually living with purpose and with passion and you're excited about what you're doing every single day. I truly believe lucid dreaming can help you do that. Even if you don't care about spirituality, lucid dreaming can open your eyes to the possibilities of what you can experience in this reality. Lucid dreaming can inspire you to do things like go on that trip that you've been postponing for so many years. It can inspire you to do things like follow your dreams and just do all of these crazy things, which most people don't actually have the courage to do. So if you did like this, go and leave a like and a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. And make sure to check out my other videos on my channel as well because I post weekly lucid dreaming videos and I'm going to be talking a lot more about spirituality and also just dreams and science in general. So check it out. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.